Hi everyone, in this video I will cover the backup and recovery part of Kubernetes using Valero. So what I did is that I just deployed a, a convoy cluster, so it's a, composed of a Kubernetes cluster of version 1.15.5 and uh, I have some add-ons there and one of the add-ons that is there by default is uh, Valero. And uh, we document everything about how to do backup and recovery and things like that. So what we can do is just take a look at the default schedule and see that uh, there is one here by default happening every day. And uh, we can also uh, look at the different backups and uh, we see that there is one by default that is taken just after we, we deploy the convoy cluster. So here, what I'm going to do is to just deploy um, a deploy a deployment and a service and ingress and so on. So just uh, create or do apply deployment. Just to have one application and the service. Now I can check. I can access this application. If I with VC spaces. This is the traffic ingress load balancer. So I can just get the IP address, update my host file because I have an ingress rule for my app.com. If I do a curl. I have .com. I see that uh, I have my Nginx uh, application running. So what I can do here is that I can do an on-demand backup. So just do that, create demo. And uh, then I can follow the progress of this backup if I just look at that here. And uh, what's interesting as well is that part of the stack. Uh, we have Grafana and Prometheus and we have uh, Velero dashboard by default. So we can see here, you know, make sure that all our backups are done successfully and so on. And these backups are stored by default uh, in, uh, in a Minio cluster uh, that uh, is running on uh, on um, the Kubernetes cluster. So if I look at uh, the stateful set, I should be able to see and the Velero one namespace, I see my uh, Minayo stateful set. So I see that this is stored there. So I'm just going to look at this backup that is completed. And uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to destroy my deployment. So if I do a kubectl get pods, should see that is being terminated. So imagine a more complex scenario where you have multiple things running and I don't know, someone make a mistake and destroy different things. He's not sure about what he has just done and you want to recover and to go back to the, the previous state. So if you are lucky and you had a good backup, then you can simply perform a recovery. And for doing so, you, you have first to um, set the Velero in a restore only mode. So what you do is that you just go to the cluster.yaml that describes the deployment of your convoy cluster. And you have multiple add-ons, as you can see, some are uh, enabled by default, some not. And here, I'm just going to add this configuration here, saying that I want restore only mode to be true. And to activate it, I just run this command and it will apply the new configuration of the add-ons. So because there is now a new configuration for this specific add-on, it will be applied to the cluster. 
Okay, so my add-ons have been updated, included uh, Valero, and I can uh, check that I have the new value applied with uh, using Helm. I just go there, and I see the restore only mode. So from there, I can recover my backup. This is what I'm going to do now. So it's very easy, just Valero restore create from backup and the name of your backup. So here it was like an on-demand backup called demo. So I just need to do that. And again, that creates a restore job and uh, I can follow the job here. So you see it's currently in progress. So after a few minutes, I see that it is completed. You can ignore these errors just due to the SSL certificate. And uh, now if I do kubectl get pods, I'm able to see my pod again. And if I do cur, my app is up and running again. So that's great. I have been able to restore uh, my backup. Now the last thing is to do, just not forget to just change the configuration of Valero because I don't want my restore is finished and I want to be able to continue to do backup normally. So I just do that and again uh, just run the same command I, I ran before to apply the modification and I'm done. So what I've demonstrated here is how Valero is powerful to take backup of um, your Kubernetes cluster or the state of your Kubernetes cluster to be able to restore it in case of uh, a disaster or in case you make a mistake. And uh, also I've shown the fact that it's already configured by default in Convoy and that you get the, the dashboards to help you making sure your backup are taken correctly. You get your uh, MinIO object storage cluster up and running by default and your backup stored there. So without doing anything, you get your Kubernetes cluster protected and uh, then you can just simply use it uh, whenever you, you need to to do some uh, on-demand backup or, or to perform any restore. Thanks uh, for watching the video. Hope it was uh, helpful.